49th ASEAN Foreign Ministers Meeting or 49th AMM and related meetings are underway in Vientiane, Laos on July 23rd to 26th. The gathering boosts implementation of Community Vision 2025. The opening ceremony of the 49th ASEAN Foreign Ministers Meeting was held in the morning of 24th July 2016 and participated by ASEAN foreign ministers and spouses. Secretary General of ASEAN, ASEAN senior officials and delegates as well as local and foreign media. Foreign ministers of Timor-Leste, Papua New Guinea and Norway also attended as invited guests of the Lao PDR, Chair of ASEAN 2016. Has had in-depth in discussions on the implementation of the APC, APAC Blueprint 2025, uh, and adopted eight priorities for the Lao PDR ASEAN Chairmanship, namely the implementation of the ASEAN Community Vision 2025, narrowing the de development gap, trade facilitation, small and medium enterprise development, tourism development, connectivity transition from in, informal employment to formal employment towards decent work promotion in ASEAN and reinforcing cultural heritage cooperation in ASEAN. In his welcoming remarks, Minister of Foreign Affairs of the Lao PDR, Salim Sai Komasit, who is also Chair of ASEAN Foreign Ministers Meeting, highlighted the great strides made by ASEAN during nearly 50 years of its existence not only in expanding the bloc's membership, but also achieving the formation of the ASEAN community at the end of 2015. He stressed that the bloc's success is attributable to peace and stability in the region and the active cooperation of member countries. He also extended his appreciation to ASEAN member states, ASEAN's dialogue partners, friendly countries, as well as regional and international organization, for the support and cooperation extended to the Lao PDR as Chair of ASEAN under the theme Turning Vision into Reality for a Dynamic ASEAN Community. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, I'm confident that with the continuous support and cooperation of ASEAN colleagues and colleagues from dialogue partners and external parties, the 49th AM and other related meetings with success. The success of these meetings will lay strong ground for the 28th and 29th ASEAN summits and related summits in September 2016 in Vientiane. การสร้างประสาคมอาเซียนเป็นขบวนการที่ดำเนินต่อไปดังนั้นกองประชุมสุดยอดอาเซียนข้างที่ชาวเจ็ดในไทยปี 2010-2015 Prime Minister of the Lao PDR Tong Lun Si Sulit in his opening remarks emphasized ASEAN's remarkable achievements over the past 49 years, particularly the establishment of the ASEAN community on 31st December 2015, as well as the importance of enhancing cooperation within ASEAN and between ASEAN and external partners with the aim of strengthening and advancing the ASEAN community. High on the agenda is internal cooperation, community building, foreign relations, ASEAN's central role and the implementation of the Community Vision 2025. Foreign ministers from 27 countries, 10 ASEAN members and 17 ASEAN partners attend AMM 49th, ASEAN's most important activity of the year. After the official opening ceremony of the 49th ASEAN Foreign Ministers Meeting or 49th AMM and related meetings, Minister Salem Sai Komasit led the ASEAN Foreign Ministers for a courtesy call. The Prime Minister of the Lao PDR Tong Lun Si Sulit, 
who highly valued the important role of ASEAN foreign ministers meeting in contributing to and promoting ASEAN cooperation in various areas, as well as cooperation with ASEAN's dialogue partners and other external parties within the ASEAN-initiated mechanisms. It is recorded that during their meeting, ASEAN foreign ministers are to discuss issues related to intra-bloc cooperation, community building, and the bloc's external relations, including accelerating the implementation of the blueprint on realizing the ASEAN political security community's vision to 2025, enhancing the ASEAN's central role, reforming the bloc's apparatus and working style, as well as considering the revision of the ASEAN Charter. ASEAN, ASEAN Board. The meeting is also expected to consider Timor-Leste's proposal to join the ASEAN and countries' request to participate in the Treaty of Amity and Cooperation in Southeast Asia or to become official partners of the bloc. And related meetings, which we would have 16 meetings altogether.